Democrats are getting down to business on Capitol Hill, and they're making news today with a letter to President Bush about his plans for Iraq. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and Majority Leader Harry Reid said in part, quote, Surging forces is a strategy you have already tried and that has already failed. Like many current and former military leaders, we believe that trying again would be a serious mistake. For the very latest on what's happening there, let's go live to Capitol Hill and NBC's Mike Vaccara. And Mike, what can you tell us about this? Well, it's significant because what we have is a unified front from the brand new, newly minted leaders of the Democratic majority here in the Senate. You know, the president has the bully pulpit. He tries to take control of the agenda, and oftentimes he is successful. Democrats and the majority in Congress, often fractious, cannot match that kind of exposure that the president has, but they are unified now with this message saying it would be a serious mistake, and they obviously represent the vast majority within their caucuses in the House and the Senate. They say once again that U.S. forces should begin redeployment within four to six months. They point to the fact that many have said that U.S. forces are stretched thin to the breaking point, that there have been many redeployments of forces and units that were not supposed to be back so often, that as far as the physical infrastructure of the Army and the other branches of the service stretched to the breaking point, they need to reset, and this is not the right idea, Chris. All right, so this is what the Democrats have to say, and they're not only criticizing the president, but answering criticism that they haven't got an alternative. They lay that out in the letter. But what about Republican members of Congress, Republican members of the Senate, who also are feeling the pressure? Well, of course, uh, uh, Senator John Warner, the outgoing chairman of the Armed Services Committee, very influential still on matters that have to do with the military. He has raised some questions about it. There are others uh, in speeches today uh, around town and on the House floor and in private conversations who say they want to wait and see exactly what this plan is before they comment on it. Uh, some Democratic leaders yesterday were saying the exact same thing. They wanted to wait and see, but today they have decided to present this unified front. Chris, the question remains, what can Democrats in Congress do to stop the president if, in fact, he's going to move forward with this surge that has been reported over the past several weeks? Uh, Democrats have been on the record saying uh, as early as December that it wouldn't change a thing. It might exacerbate things, but what can they do? They cannot stop the president from doing it. He is the commander-in-chief. They can hold hearings. They can have oversight. They can review. These these are the things they've been talking about, but in the short term, uh, I don't think there's anything that they can do. They can't hold a vote to stop the president from this surge, Chris. Mike, thanks very much.